Setting up your TiVo stream is ridiculously easy. All you do is literally plug it into your network at your house. And it's gotta be plugged into the same network as your main TiVo. I'm down in my basement here where I've actually got my coax coming out of the wall and into my cable modem. And then I used a Mocha adapter to extend the network from down here to where my main TiVo is. I've got an Apple router. So it comes out of the back there and into my router. So I've got a few extra spots back here. I could have plugged it into that one, but I just run the cable into a giant switch here and I've got a bunch of different devices plugged in. One of them being my TiVo stream. That's pretty much it. On the back of this, you've got power. Turn this guy around here. We've got power coming in right there. And then there's a white light that comes on and it stays solid when it can detect your other TiVo. You don't really have to do anything to configure the device itself. Now you have to configure the app when you load it up and I'll show you that in a minute. But as far as the device goes, you just plug it into the network, wait till it turns white and solid. My first time through, it kept blinking white. I had a defective one, I had to send it back to TiVo and they sent me a replacement. Um, other than that, it was pretty easy to set up. That's it, pretty simple to set up the TiVo stream. Now I can watch TV in my home, on any device or outside of the home. The one caveat about watching TV outside of the home is that on cellular, they don't let you stream it. Although you can bypass that and go into the options and download it. They want you to be on Wi-Fi because I guess there's so much data being transferred. So anyway, quick tip, if you want to watch it over cellular, download it before you leave the house or if you're out and on the go and you have plenty of cellular data, then um, go into the option and download the show and then you can watch it on the TiVo app. Other than that, get on Wi-Fi and you can stream anything to your device. Let's set up the TiVo app on my phone to stream content for my TiVo. I already installed the TiVo app from the App Store. You need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your TiVo in order to set this up. Okay, launching the TiVo app. Sign in with your TiVo username and password. It shows all your TiVo devices. I'm going to select living room since that's where our main TiVo is. Set up streaming device. Yes. Set up in home and out of home. You have to check the box to verify that this is your TiVo account. Start setup. Done. Under my shows, it shows your recorded shows. Looks like I've got some King of the Hill. All right, I'll select one of these. Click watch now and it gives you all of the ways to watch the show. Select watch on iPhone and it will set up a streaming session to watch the show. One of only 16 people who have survived parachutes not opening. Let's say I want to download this show to my device instead of stream it. I just select the download option. It gives me a few different options for quality. I'll leave the default as medium. Download with these options. When I go back to my shows, I see two options at the top, on DVR and on iPhone. Selecting on iPhone shows all of the shows you've downloaded or current shows downloading in their status. As you can see, I'm a little more than halfway and there's still three minutes left. So it took about five to six minutes to download a 30 minute show to my phone while on my same home network. The download rate is not that great considering I'm on my own network but I imagine the extra time may be in the transcoding process that it has to do to set the show up to be viewed on your phone. If I go to watch now, I get popular TV. Scrolling to the right, there is sports, movies, kids, my shows, my YouTube channels, popular YouTube, favorite channels that you can set up on your TiVo. If I click on guide, I can see what is on TV right now. Now, when I set up a live TV show to stream, it actually records it and then sets up a streaming show to your device. So you have to have at least one of your channels open and not recording. I have a four channel DVR, so I can't be recording four shows and stream live TV to a device. Oh look, an episode of hoarding buried alive full of rats. 
watch on the iPhone. You can see it starting the recording and then setting up the streaming session. Under more, you have various options. You can select the TiVo box, One Pass Manager, which used to be called Season Pass Manager, your to-do list, you can see the hoarder episode getting recorded, as well as the hostile takeover of my TiVo box by my kids with all the kids shows. Oh look, there's even a remote control option if you're in a pinch and can't find your TiVo remote. Other various settings. That's pretty much it. This is video four in a five part series in setting up your TiVo multi-room DVR by yourself at home. In the next video, I will go over how to replace the hard drive in your TiVo with a larger hard drive to increase your recording capacity. Thanks for watching.